Are you curious about the Lagoon Valley Project, the Bay Area's first environmentally sustainable conservation community? You're going to want to watch this video. We're going to break down the integrated business village along with the first residential phase of the community so you know what to expect. Let's, Let's go. go. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Lily Ratliff. I'm Brandon Ratliff. And we are a husband and wife real estate team here in Northern California who specialize in Solano County. Yes, Lily and I have been living in Solano County for over 10 years now, and we've been helping people just like you buy, sell, invest in real estate, and we absolutely love it. Yes, we do. So whether you think moving the next nine days or 90 days, we want to be your go-to resource. We want to be of help. So give us a call, text, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description in the link below. All right, but we have something really exciting that we want to explore with you today. And that is the sort of first sneak peek of the Lagoon Valley development. First homes were supposed to be available to purchase in 2023 last year. And you know construction, it got delayed. So here we are in 2024 and the first phases of the business village and the first neighborhood are expected to be built this year. And we're gonna dive in this episode and show you what you can come to expect. And let me tell you, it's pretty amazing. Honestly, it's bringing a whole new feel to Vacaville. This project has been over 20 years in the making. It's gonna really revolutionize Vacaville, mm -hmm. give it a whole different look. It really is, you know, part of this being the Bay Area's first environmentally sustainable conservation community really just means there's a commitment to the landscape, to the nature, to preserve it, to live in it, but also with those modern comforts that we're all sort of grown accustomed to. And if anybody is familiar with Solano County, One Lake, this is a new community mm -hmm. developed by many different builders, along with so many different amenities, a garden, other you know retailers. This is just a larger version of that, but in what I think is just a prettier site overall. No, it's a really good point. I really think it reminds me, it transports you to like a Walnut Creek, mm -hmm. East Bay type area. Yes, you for know, sure. A lot of the walking paths, the cycling, and you can see that in the renderings. I mean, there's not a picture here you see that doesn't have a path or a tree of mm -hmm. beautiful natural landscapes, people just smiling. Nature's everywhere. Nature's okay. everywhere. It's everywhere here. And I think another really cool thing to mention about the business center in particular, you know, they're calling it Ascend, the innovative business center. And part of that is because it is featuring dedicated building space for biomanufacturing, which, fun fact for those of you that don't know, Vacaville is actually the center of the biomanufacturing hub in all of California. So we really are recruiting a lot of that talent here, which is great because that brings a lot of high paying jobs to the area. And this is great news because that's likely to sustain home prices and keep values trending upwards. Everybody wants that. But the best part about this all is this is projected to bring 2,000 new jobs to the area. It does look like it's going to be, you know, quite that modern urban aesthetic that we were talking about before, which I think is going to be really exciting to bring here to Vacaville. I'm super excited. So now let's talk about the recreational services or uses of this land, which let me tell you are a plenty. When we talked about this being a mini city, <laughs> what are we talking about here, Brandon? We, you don't have to leave. There's going to be 458 acres dedicated to open space and recreational use. That's a lot of land. So much land. And we're <laughs> talking, you know, tennis courts, pickleball courts, pools, a golf course. What? I'm bored. Is there not more? I mean, there's going to be orchards, guys. Literally orchards, trees. There's going to be an organic farm. There's going to be an event center, an event lawn. Just a lot of different uses Two public here. parks. Yes, two public parks. Though I got to say, <laughs> my biggest issue with this is that there are more pickleball courts than tennis courts. But that's something that maybe we can dive into on another episode. Much later, much later. Yes, that's just we want to make there. friends. <laughs> yeah. This really is going to be, like we mentioned, this mini city. You're not really going to have to go anywhere else, especially because the business center, right? That's going to have mixed use. So you probably will have retailers there on top of other businesses. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a really cool place. So that's what we know so far for the recreational subdivision. Things can change along the way. We will keep you updated. So feel free to subscribe to the channel so you can be up to date with all the latest news about Lagoon Valley. Yes, <laughs> but now let's go ahead, push forward to what we're really excited about, which is the first of 14 residential communities that is going to be coming to Lagoon Valley. And that's gonna be Lilac Ridge built by Lennar. These homes are gonna be amazing. There's gonna be 108 two-story homes. So if you're looking for one stories, this is not gonna be the community for you. These homes are gonna be around 3,300 square feet all the way to 4,200 square feet. The only new builds right now are Foxborough, Knowles, and Vacaville with this size of a home. 
Now, if you're wondering, hmm, what do those homes look like? Well, we just did a video on it, so you can go check that out if you wanna learn more. Now, if you're looking for smaller homes, this is probably not gonna be the development for you. You're gonna to wanna to wait for later in the phases. But Brandon does mention a good point, which is that these homes are gonna be very large, especially to what we are used to seeing here in Vacaville. I mean, when we look at the 2023 home stats, you know, the median size home was about 1,700 square feet. So this is pretty much double that, if not larger. And while they have not released the price on these homes, that is, something that we're very curious about. We would say it's safe to be starting at 800, given that these homes are already 3,300 square feet and looking at the other new construction markets here in Vacaville. But we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> However, we do know these lots are gonna be grande. These lots are gonna be around 7,000 square feet ranging all the way to 19,000. You guys, that is almost <laughs> half an acre. That is a lot. But I will say in general, you can expect about a 30 to 40% lot coverage. That's what we were finding, um, at least on what they proposed in the project plan. And if you find that eight to 10,000 square foot lots just aren't enough for you, well, don't forget you have 400 plus acres of recreational use that you can use at any time. Or you can just strategically try to pick out some of the lots that are in the court locations that are going to have over that 10,000 square feet or if none of those seem to satisfy, you want something more, well then there are gonna be other neighborhoods coming that are going to have bigger lots. And what we're excited about is that aesthetic look, mm -hmm. you know, those elevations. There's gonna have a craftsman style, they're gonna have a farmhouse style, and they're gonna have a California vineyard. Can you imagine that? all the different options. And as you can tell from these renderings, they all sort of have that natural color scheme going on. This is a conservation community. These residential communities are a part of that. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that the homes and the color schemes are gonna be reflective of that. I and mean, when you look at the proposed project plan, they literally have the paint colors down to a <laughs> T. Like a lot of them have words such as clay, brown, earth, gray, all of those sort of tones, right? That kind of gives you an idea of where they're heading with this, of a very natural, neutral landscape. And I think it's nice. Being one with nature is very important. Yes, Zen, I very mean, much I've zen. never walked in nature and thought, man, I'm stressed right now. <laughs> I'm always happy, relaxed, calm, collected. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the environment they're going for. Absolutely, and you can even tell that too as well with the landscape that they have chosen. You know, it's a lot of what we see in new builds already, which is drought friendly, native shrubs. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that we even have in our backyard because mm -hmm. we have found that you know they can deal with the sometimes brutal summers here in Vacaville very yeah. very well. They can thrive under extreme heat and pressure. Yes. <laughs> so let's talk about the exterior finishes. Think elevated. We're talking stucco, stone veneer, mm -hmm. concrete roof tiles, foam shutters, vinyl windows, roll-up garage doors. Yes my personal favorite <laughs> is an illuminated address sign. I mean I feel like when you see that you know like yeah. You're in a good place. It's almost someone having a maple tree in your front yard. You just yeah. know it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> now, while we don't know too much about the inside features, we do know a little bit, have a little bit of insight based on the floor plans. If you're a car enthusiast or just need the extra space, you can't expect to be two to three car garages. You're going to see your big great rooms, the open floor plans, the gourmet kitchens, just everything expansive, that indoor outdoor living, also known as a California room. Mm -hmm. And there's gonna be double-sided good neighbor fencing around the home. Of course, walk-in closets, laundry rooms. I think these are all the major things that we come to expect from new construction communities. But just in general, the entire neighborhood, I mean, the name is Lilac Ridge, right? You're in a conservation community. There are street names on the post plan, <laughs> such as Muir Woods Way and Channel Islands Place. So they're really leaning into that whole nature aesthetic. So we're very excited to see how this is going to turn out, but I think it's safe to say it's definitely going to be environmentally inspired. We're on the right track. But we are curious, you know, we have had several people reach out from the channel. As some of you may recall, we did do a video on this almost two years ago when we, wow. we thought it was going to be done in 2023. <laughs> yeah. And people are very interested in this and they want to live there, not just for you know themselves, but perhaps an investment property. And is this something that you guys would be interested in? Remember, Lilac Ridge is the first of 14 different communities. So if this is not the community for you, stay tuned, there will be more. And there are gonna be other builders as well. You know, Triad, who is the community's developer, they have come out and said, there will be multiple builders attached. We know one as well will be TriPoint, and we love them. They're actually already in One Lake and Fairfield. If you wanna check out, we do do a video on them as well. But I mean, these are gonna be diverse homes here that are coming anywhere in the next five years. According to Triad, it's going to be 
multi-generational, affordable, estate-sized homes, and even age-qualifying communities. So I think this is all really exciting that this is coming to Vacaville. Yeah, they really encompass everybody, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's not one size fits all here. It's really if whatever you want it to be. As diverse as the land it encompasses, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our video on Lagoon Valley development. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we are still in the breaking ground phase. No pun intended. There's gonna be a lot more to come. So if you want to stay updated as this development unfolds, along with a lot of other developments that are happening all over Solano County, go ahead and subscribe and tap that bell for notifications. And if you're thinking of moving to Vacaville or any of the surrounding areas, we'd love to be a resource to you. Give us a call, text, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description in the link below. So until the next video, Rattlips out. It's giving, you know, you're living in a, oh, I'm sorry. You're what's living. it giving? That's good. It's, it's giving. giving. Oh, what's it giving, it's Brandon? It's giving. It's so giving. If you walk outside and you're just thinking, hey, this is just not a big enough lot for me, you have 400 acres around you that you can just mosey along and do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Try it again.